Hey, it's good to have you here. Come on in, have a seat. Welcome to the Beyond Picket Fences podcast. We are your hosts, Mandy Benicky and Naomi Marquez. Beyond Picket Fences was created to empower women globally to embrace their journey through the power of storytelling, healing, and community. We recognize that although women make up for more than half of the population, much of their accomplishments have gone overlooked throughout history. We'd like to change that. Our series, Her Story is History, honors the greatness of women who paved a path for us to thrive on. We do the research so you don't have to because we know time is valuable and fleeting, but we also know the more you know, the more you grow. Please remember to subscribe to our podcast and leave us a review. A few minutes of your time really helps to spread these courageous stories. It was my revolt, and I had to do it. A quote by Latvia El Nadi. Happy. This is how Latvia El Nadi once described her younger self as she was sifting through her photos. Eighty years ago, Latvia El Nadi became the first Egyptian woman to be a licensed pilot. At age 26, she was among the youngest at the time to achieve her lifetime dream. Many women over the past century have taken to the skies. Names such as Amy Johnson, the first woman to fly solo from London to Australia, and Amelia Earhart, the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic, are perhaps more instantly recognizable to those in the Western Hemisphere. However, Latvia El Nadi stands as an icon to many Arab women, a reminder of what women are capable of when they are determined to succeed. El Nadi was not only the first Egyptian woman to qualify as a pilot, but also the first African woman and first Arab woman to earn a pilot's license. Although her name is less recognizable than that of the well-esteemed Earhart, her achievements are no less impressive. This remarkable woman, also a friend of Amelia Earhart, was made an honorary citizen by Switzerland and inspired women across Egypt and the world. Latvia El Nadi has transformed the way people viewed women's abilities and challenged the stereotypical gender roles people have forced. Even though she passed away in 2002, she will always be remembered as the woman who decided to believe in her capabilities and soar the skies. This extraordinary woman's achievements paved the way for women in the Arab nation to enter the world of aviation. Moreover, she encouraged them to believe that they could do whatever a man could do. Thanks to this amazing woman and many others, no quote-unquote man's jobs exist anymore. Arab female pilots look up to Latvia El Nadi until this day as an idol and a symbol of gender equality. So let's take a look at the life of this inspiring woman. Latvia El Nadi was born in Cairo on October 29, 1907. Her father worked for the government printing office, Matba Ameria, and her mother was a forward-thinking housewife who wanted the best for her daughter. Since childhood, she was fascinated with flying, even though Cairo did not even have an airport. Flying meant freedom and possibilities for her at a time when women's lives lacked all opportunities. After completing her primary education, she was expected to marry, become a housewife, as was customary at the time. However, Al Nadi had read an article about a flying school opening in Cairo. She was determined to attend. A few female pilots were emerging in the Western world then, and she strongly believed that Arab women could also prove their capabilities if given a chance. In May 1932, the Egyptian government built the Almaza Airport in the sandy areas of Heliopolis on the outskirts of Cairo to accompany the founding of Egypt Air. It was the first airline in the Middle East and the seventh in the world. It was also offering training courses to young aspiring aviators as well as flight experiences for socialites. When she could not find anyone to help her, she went directly to the director of Egypt Air, Kamal Alwi, asking for guidance and assistance. A smart and revolutionary guy, he immediately saw the potential for good publicity for the newly found institution as a place that provided an opportunity for both genders equally and agreed to help her achieve her dream. 
Nonetheless, Latvia needed to help pay for the flying lessons at the time. But as the strong-minded woman she was, she worked as the secretary and telephone operator for the flying school in exchange for her tuition. When she first joined, she was the only woman in the airport. Latvia studied with 33 male classmates. When she earned her pilot's license on September 27, 1933, after only 67 days of study, Latvia El Mahdi became the first Arab woman pilot in the world, the first woman pilot in the Middle East, and the first woman pilot in Africa. Her achievement made headlines around the globe. On this occasion, the famous Egyptian feminist Huda Sharawi, Nadi's role model at the time, sent her a word of congratulations and support. Latvia El Nadi made headlines again in December 1933 when she participated in an international race between Cairo and Alexandria, and she was 26 at the time. After Amelia Earhart, El Nadi was the second woman in the world to fly solo in that race. She finished the race first. However, she did not win, as she missed a checkpoint. But she got a consolation prize of 200 EGP. Unfortunately, her career was cut short after only five years as a pilot. She injured her spine in a ladder accident and quit flying after that. For this elegant and proud woman who died in 2002 at nearly 95, old age was no excuse to neglect her freedom. Displaying the waiver she had signed to refuse life-sustaining treatment and to donate her organs, she sighed softly. Please let me do what I want. A documentary film about her life titled Take Off from the Sand was produced in 1996. As soon as I take off, I felt the plane was light and I owned the world. Freedom, freedom, the freedom you always dreamt of, Latvia. Well, here it is. You have got it. I can't tell you how ecstatic I became. I was not in the least bit afraid. There was absolutely no fear. Latvia El Nadi describing her first flying experience. We hope you enjoyed this Her Story is History lesson. If you know of an impactful story we should share, please email us at askme at bpfences.com. And as always, if you or someone you know has a story or a topic you'd like to share, we'd love to hear from you.